Welcome again to Glosska's YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Hina from Japan, of course, and I'll be your teacher today. Konnichiwa, Nihon kara kita, Hina desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. When you think of Japanese food, what comes to your mind? Sushi, ramen, tempura. There is a wide range of unusual food in Japan that you may not know about. Today, I am here to introduce you some strange food that Japanese like to eat. So the first food is fugu. Fugu. Fugu is the Japanese name for the poisonous puffer fish. If you prepare it incorrectly, it carries the risk of death because puffer fish contains a toxin. Would you dare to try? Fugu wo tabete mitai desu ka? Fugu wo tabete mitai desu ka? In Japan, it's prepared by experts who train for years on how to remove the fish's highly toxic organs without contaminating the rest of the meat. So, don't worry, you can enjoy fugu sashimi or fugu hot pot. The second strange food is shirako. Shirako. Shirako is a fish sperm sack. If you hear what that is, it's kind of disgusting, right? But the texture is soft and creamy, like pudding, and it doesn't have that much of flavor. You can eat in many ways, like raw, fried, steamed, or as a topping on other dishes. Shirako wa oishii desu. Shirako wa oishii desu. Shirako is delicious. Oishii means delicious. So, shirako wa oishii desu. The third strange food is natto. My favorite food, natto. It's made of fermented soybeans. People usually hate its thickness and the smell, but just give it a try. It doesn't taste as bad as you think. Natto wa neba neba shiteimasu. Natto wa neba neba shiteimasu. Natto has a sticky texture. Neba neba means sticky. So, natto wa neba neba shiteimasu. The fourth one is basashi. Basashi. Basashi is thinly sliced horse meat in the form of sashimi, a specialty from Kumamoto Prefecture. Many Japanese people love horse meat, especially with soy sauce and garlic. The meat is lean yet tender and offers more protein than beef, while also being less fatty. Basashi wo tabeta koto arimasu ka? Basashi wo tabeta koto arimasu ka? Have you ever tried basashi? I haven't. Watashi wa arimasen. Watashi wa arimasen. I wanna try it though. The fifth one is mochi. Mochi. Mochi is a unique Japanese food best described as rice cakes. In recent years, they are becoming more well known outside of Japan. However, there are plenty of sweet, and tasty mochi varieties available in Japan that are hard to find in other countries. So when you visit Japan, try as many kinds of mochi as you can and enjoy. Donna omochi ga suki desu ka? Donna omochi ga suki desu ka? What kind of mochi do you like? The sixth one is tarako or mentaiko. It's almost the same thing. Mentaiko is known in English as pollock roll, or the internal egg masses from pollock fish. The taste is salty and sometimes spicy. It's a very common side dish, but it's also used in onigiri and pasta. Fukuoka ken wa mentaiko de yume desu. Fukuoka ken wa mentaiko de yume desu. Fukuoka prefecture is famous for mentaiko. What's famous in your city? Tell me in the comments below. The next one is monjayaki. Monjayaki. I am not going to lie, but it looks like vomit on a grill. But despite the terrible description of monjayaki, monjayaki is really popular in Kanto region, like around Tokyo, like eastern part of Japan. You can find many monjayaki restaurants in Tokyo and in many of the restaurants, you will get to cook by yourself. It's really fun. 
definitely an iconic Tokyo food that not many foreigners have tried but should not be overlooked. Monjayaki no daijin shou wa nan desu ka? Monjayaki no daijin shou wa nan desu ka? Daijin shou, the first impression. So, what's your first impression of Monjayaki? I don't remember my daiichi insho of monjayaki because I was too little when I tried it for the first time. The next one is yakisoba pan. Yakisoba pan. Noodles in bread? Yes, yakisoba in pan. It looks really odd, but it's perfect match and you can find one in any konbini, convenience store. Konbini. In Japan, Yakisoba pan wa yasukute oishii desu. Yakisoba pan wa yasukute oishii desu. Yakisoba pan is cheap and delicious. So the next one is nankotsu. Nankotsu. A popular dish served at many izakayas. It is hard and crunchy bone cartilage. If you like fried chicken, then you will like nankotsu too. Nankotsu wa korikori shiteimasu. Nankotsu wa korikori shiteimasu. The texture of nankotsu is very crunchy. Korikori refers to the crunchy texture. So nankotsu wa korikori shiteimasu. So the last one is hormon yaki. Hormon yaki. In hormon yaki, a mixture of small and big intestines and stomachs of several animals are fried on the barbecue to make what is commonly referred to as a stamina building food. Watashi wa hormon yaki ga nigate desu. Watashi wa hormon yaki ga nigate desu. I am not a big fan of hormon yaki. What about you guys? Do you like it? Suki desu ka? Do you hate it? Kirai desu ka? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Mite kurete arigato. Mata besu no video de aimashou. Bye bye.